It's your World Cup champion, Booga, and his teammate, Juju Smith-Schuster. You know what time it is? <laughs> just non-stop practicing and grinding to get to the final main stage. It takes so much. Every single day I feel like I'm putting in six to seven hours in like different aspects of the game. So the different aspects such as like creative where you can work on your building, uh, your game sense where you can see, figure out your rotations, where you need to go, how to position yourself. There's so much into it and I feel like it takes so much time and so much patience. That was a masterclass right there. Do you think once the general public learns the dedication and the strategy that goes in this, this will also help the game evolve as far as the audience comes? With people who aren't used to sort of these sports yet? Yeah, I mean, as a casual player, figuring out these types of things, it makes them more intrigued and makes them want to keep playing and growing as an individual player. So the more they learn, the more they're going to want to keep playing and it will just keep growing. Uh, all right, guys, um, we're going to open up for Q&A. I think it's a super exciting uh, panel that we have here. So we're going to pass out a microphone. If you guys just want to raise your hands, we'll take a few questions. So amazing. You're first impressed on how well you conduct yourself. And you're able to sit in a panel and be that articulate and composed with a bunch of us here in distractions. So congratulations to you, to Glenn and your family. Um, I also find it fascinating that guys like me and are in my 50s, the 40s, we talked about earlier, uh, the, the man came up with his friends in their 30s, you know, we want a picture with you, we want to be friends with you, but well, we're accustomed, at least I'm, I'm accustomed to the kids your age coming up to me and wanting to take a picture um, with me as the, uh, as the celebrity. Um, I really am impressed, again, at how you handle yourself as the celebrity at 17. Yeah. Um, in your in this e uh, esports and gaming world, you know, as an athlete, uh, young kid growing up myself, I had football players that I aspired to look up to: Brian Sight, Terry Bradshaw, and Franco Harris, and the um, great Jim Brown last night. Um, I'm just curious now, as a as a father now, the son a little older than you, who do you maybe aspire to or look to emulate um, in an industry and in a sport now that's really growing and you guys all have a panel did an awesome job today. Yeah, for me, it was a little bit different because I was coming from the competitive side, so I was looking up to the top competitive players at that time. Um, but pretty much I was just looking up to people in different ways, trying to figure out their strategies and what they're doing so I can attain that knowledge and then put it in my own use. But um, I don't... Have anyone specific? I really don't have anyone specific. Obviously, there's like the big names like Ninja, Tfue, you see all them, and it's like one day you want to be as big as them, obviously. But yeah, no one really specific, honestly. Great job, man. Thank you. Can you snag a pic? Yeah, perfect. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, man. That's awesome. Thank you. Sweet. Yes. Awesome. Hey, man, it's nice meeting you. Nice Congratulations. You. Thank you. More to the left, like in that river. Okay. Right, whenever I hear you drop, bro, I'm dropping. All right, all right. And we can't leave the island no matter what. Right. What house is it over there? Uh, here on market. It's this one. Okay. All right, get ready. Drop now and aim through this river, okay? 
don't go on the right side by the hills because it will make your shoe pool super high and you'll just die. All right, let's go. So you're aiming for that, okay? Like that top left side of that house, all right? Dropping low. I have a really good drop, bro. My drop is so good. Right behind you have a good drop too. Like yours is not bad. A lot of people are under us, but I'll be able to get that top left chest. Shit. Actually, my drop might be bad, bro. Nah, it's not that bad. I'm landing on this chest. We need to land on this chest with me. Oh my god. No, 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 bro. Follow me. We did oh, no, no, go back, go back. Get in the house. I have a pistol. Try your best, try your best. Oh wait, they're fighting, hold on. I might bro. Take down, take down, take down, take down. Quick got another kill. Yeah, he's full health on. Yeah, he's definitely full health. And he got a shoddy. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I hear him. Bro, can I go? Wait, my game just crashed. What? No, wait, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. I thought my game just actually crashed. Should I go look for a shotgun? I'm about to go find a shotgun off the people we killed. No way, they found me. No bullets in there. I'ma just hide. I don't really care, I'ma just hide. <laughs> Two hours later. Yeah, they just said there's fishing spots. Oh my god, the one side's in. I need to get there. Go that way, go that way, go that way. You have to get on the other side though. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, that's 18 bullets? You load, you load your, uh... Bro, there was a 50, there's a mat thing there, I want that. Should I just bolt? Uh, I don't know, bro. More mats, give more mats. Yeah, but they're just gonna fight me. Is there definitely just sin up there? Actually, wait. You think? Good, good call. One eternity later. Right, I need to drop low. Yeah. Oh my god, there's mats. Uh, bro, what? Yeah, you're right.
Come on, click. Wait, what did he say? Can't get in the water. Ah, he threw. <laughs> no way. Oh my god! Click! Click! Go back, go back, go back. I know, I know. No way! No! <laughs> no, I respect that, bro. Yes, sir.